Hey everyone, it's Vosk of the Voscoin YouTube channel, and today I'm here to talk to you about Z Classic, Bitcoin, and the Bitcoin Private Hard Fork, and show you how to make sure that you secure your hard forked coins of Bitcoin Private. Real quick, I just want to lay out the basics. Z Classic is a fork of Zcash, which they removed the 20% founder's fee. So 20% of every block reward in Zcash, so basically 20% of all Zcash for the first four years is going to the founders. That's a pretty hefty tax. And depending on the coin, I don't necessarily mind the dev tax if it's being actively used, but 20% is pretty high. I think somewhere around 10% should probably be sufficient, especially with their uh, market cap. Zcash uses ZK Snarks tech, which I actually have a video on that if you want to check it out on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But in this uh, video I go over, I try to break it down real simple. What is ZK Snarks and how does it apply to us in crypto? Z Classic is a fork of Zcash, so they share that same technology, making Z Classic a privacy coin. However, the forces behind Z Classic have taken an interesting approach and they are now forking Z Classic to create Bitcoin private, but they're not only forking Z Classic, they're also forking Bitcoin. So how do you fork both coins? Well, per their releases, they said they've already run a test and they plan to fork Z Classic and Bitcoin at the same exact time, which is 28th of February, 5 p.m. UTC. So convert that to whatever you're at. I'm at Eastern Standard Time, so that's where it's gonna to apply to me. We've also got the countdown for that right here. This is where it gets interesting. They're forking this and Bitcoin's got about 17 million units, right? Z Classic has about 3 million units. And then BTCP, Bitcoin Private, is going to share the total supply of 21 million, right? So we've already got 20 million accounted for. And this isn't even taking in part that a ton of Bitcoins have been lost over the years. Obviously, some Z Classic has been as well. But the, the severe impact here would be the massive amount of lost Bitcoin. So we only have 1 million coins left. And when you launch a coin with that many units already out there of its total supply cap, it's gonna be really interesting what this actually does with the price. Speaking of the price, let's look at it. This is Z Classic, and Z Classic is gonna give us some sort of idea where the price is gonna be. So if you look at the timeline, it launched, and then Zencash forked from Z Classic, which created a lot of hype. They were getting a one-for-one -one swap similar to this, and then it died off, and then boom, Bitcoin private announcement, and here we go off to the races. So we've got this price point of today, $144. And if you look at the hash rate, if you're ever wondering how to mine, if you're unfamiliar with mining, please check out my channel. I have so many videos on mining. It's, you know, come to my channel, I'll help you out. As far as how this hash rate's gonna affect us, we're taking this hash rate, which is basically 172 mega hash a second or mega soul really. And that's really a good idea to get a baseline of what may transfer over to Bitcoin private after this. All of these miners have to go somewhere, and with that, there's going to be some associated value. But anyway, back to the fork. So there's BTC, 17 million, Z Classic, 3 million, 21 million supply cap, 20 million. So 20 million coins are going to be distributed on the 28th. That's very soon. So, regardless of how you feel about this hard fork, the bottom line is. A lot of people are involved with it and it's a good opportunity to make money. Personally, I have a small stash of Z Classic that I am going to, you know, in anticipation of this hard fork, keep in a wallet. And that's why I'm here today to show you how to safely set yourself up for this Z Classic hard fork to be able to claim your Bitcoin private. On that note, there's an awesome resource on their subreddit. You just go to reddit.com slash r slash Bitcoin private and it's this top, you know, pinned post right here. And a lot of infos in here. If you're interested in being involved with this or you already are, I highly advise you read through this because, well, I pretty much had all these questions and I was able to answer a lot of them in this thread. One more quick mining note I want to cover because I know a lot of you guys are miners here. They have a donation pool which you can get to in this thread or you can just go to fun.zclassic.org and it'll bring you here. So the way this works is you sync your miners up to their pool and you're mining Z Classic and you're not going to get any Z Classic. But once this fork occurs, instead of getting one to one, they're going to give you 1.25. So it's a little bit easier and it could work out better for you potentially if you're unable to dump your Z Classic if that's what you want to do after it forks. Because quite honestly, in my opinion, I'm pretty sure that Z Classic is going to fall fast. 
And I mean, that's okay, I guess, if you're getting the Bitcoin private. So just make sure you don't sell yourself short here and miss out on not getting the Bitcoin private, which again is the point of this video. I'm not getting to it, so let's get to the video. So you need to go over to their GitHub and I'll have a link in the description and download their ZCL Electrum release. This is gonna be your best option. I've been messing around with this wallet and it's been working fine for me, so I hope it continues to work fine for me. I'm gonna go through the basic setup of what to do here. So we need to create a wallet. That was just one of the wallets I was using. So we're just gonna delete this. We just need to create a wallet name. So subscribe, Bosscoin, YouTube. That's what I'm talking about, you better subscribe. We're gonna click next, standard wallet, yes. Create a new seed, yes, standard. Well, we only got one option. Yes. So here's your wallet seed. Pretty important. What you're going to want to do is hand write this down, print it off, put it on a USB. In my opinion, the safest thing to do is to write this down, period. Write it down and keep it in a safe spot. Make a backup. Keep that in a different spot, even in a different house. So if, God forbid, your house burns down, you still got a backup to your crypto. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to copy this right here. And then we're gonna click next and it's gonna say, hey, your seed's important, did you remember it? Cause you were just trying to skip through this and we don't want you to complain saying you lost your uh, key and you can't get in your stuff now. Well, good news, I copied it right here. I'm just gonna copy it back in. Now we're gonna click next. Then we need to create a password. I'm just gonna use a test password right here. And then we are going to get generated into the wallet. When you first start it, um, you may notice it'll say not connected and this will be red. Just give it a second, it's syncing up. Don't, don't freak out. If you're one of those guys that just kind of freaks out easy, walk away from your computer for 15 minutes and hopefully when you come back, it's all set up. Most people aren't reporting any issues with this and if you are, I'd advise heading to their Reddit and you know trying to help get it figured out. So now you're in your wallet. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to receive. This is your receiving address. You're gonna copy that and then you're going to send your Z Classic to this address. You need to hold it in here until the fork because otherwise you won't be able to claim your Bitcoin private. And how do you claim your Bitcoin private? Well, we're going to go to wallet and then we're gonna to go to export private keys. I also wanna note, I'm doing this on a Mac, but the process is gonna be absolutely the same for Windows. After entering your password, it'll generate your private keys. You saw that address we had on receive, it was this address. So this is showing you, this is your public key and this is the associated private key. So if I sent all my Z Classic to this address, which I never would because I'm posting this on a public YouTube video, so don't be wasting your time trying to hack your boy here, then I would need to use this private key in order to claim my Bitcoin private. So basically, you're gonna send all your Z Classic to this address, this is your relevant private key. So you're gonna load this private key into the Bitcoin private wallet, which is going to allow you to claim your Bitcoin private once all that stuff is live and taken care of. As long as your Z Classic was in an address where you hold the private key at the time of the snapshot, you will be able to you know, do whatever you wanna do with your Z Classic even after the fork has occurred. So once that actual snapshot hard fork occurs, then you're gonna to want to sell your Z Classic if you want to and retain, make sure you keep their, your private key safe and you'll be able to input that into a Bitcoin private uh, wallet and that will claim your Bitcoin private. You'll also be able to do this with Bitcoin. The process will be essentially the same except you're just using a Bitcoin address. So that's really it guys. Come over here, grab this wallet, get it set up, synced up, send all your Z Classic to you know whatever address you want, make sure you've got the relevant private key. I would just keep all these for safe measure along with your wallet key just to get back in here and then just be ready for that fork date. It's easy to monitor because it's on their uh, Bitcoin private website. And then I would recommend following uh, closely their subreddit and also their Twitter. They also have a Discord server, which would be one of the best places to get those instant updates as well. I'll throw an invite to their Discord server into the description of this video below. And I'm gonna set it up to never expire, so hopefully that works. And uh, just uh, regarding this, if, if I could give you any advice, like just, you know, as if you are one of my subscribers, this, is why, this advice is only for my subscribers. And uh, it's something I would tell you, you know, bro to bro, man to man, whatever. I would sell your Z Classic as fast as you can. And I don't mean, maybe I'll be totally wrong here, but I think you're kind of ridiculous if you don't think that price is gonna plummet. However, I have really high hopes for Bitcoin Private because it is an ASIC resistant Equihash GPU mineable coin with a very transparent currency value. And the fact only 1 million are gonna be left, I think this is gonna be a pretty expensive coin. I don't wanna create FOMO. I don't want you to go spend your life savings on buying Z Classic, but 
it's something that I would recommend looking into and see if you know you want to take the gamble here. This this is an opportunity. This is absolutely an opportunity. Has that opportunity already passed? Or is there still time to make some good gains here? I don't know. I'm just a dude with the coolest doge in the world. And with that said, please make sure to subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. And I will see you guys next time.